Wagner mercenaries in Belarus train drone operators for war in Ukraine. Mercenaries from the Wagner private military company in Belarus are training drone operators for the Russian army, although they do it reluctantly as they are paid little for it, according to the monitoring group Belaruski Hayun and the Center for National Resistance. Wagner private military company instructors in Belarus are training mobilized military personnel for topography, artillery, medical training, organization of management, and communication for two weeks. The main focus of the two-week courses is on mastering drone operator skills, including FPV drones. After such crash courses, off to war in Ukraine, the Resistance Center report says. However, as the partisans note, the instructional work and salary do not suit the Wagner's fighters, and there is a leakage of instructors in Belarus who choose to participate in the war in Africa, where they are paid more. According to the National Resistance Center, the number of Wagner's fighters in Belarus has decreased from 500 to 400 over the recent period. As noted by the monitoring group Belaruski Hayun, in April 2024, Belarus conducted a readiness check which became the most extensive in Belarus's history. During this month, Belarusian military received a second batch of four Mi-35M helicopters from Russia. In total, there are already eight such helicopters at the Mashulishchi airfield. It is planned to increase their number to 12. The aviation group of the Russian Aerospace Forces has increased by one fighter jet over the month. At the same time, the strength of the Russian armed forces in Belarus has remained unchanged. The Russian military contingent continues to be in the same locations as before. In addition, the number of Wagner PMC mercenaries in Belarus remains low. They are notably involved in training the forces of Alexander Lukashenko's regime. It is worth noting that Russia has turned Belarus into a training ground for its troops, which are sent to the front lines in Ukraine. At the same time, NATO has confidentially outlined red lines for its intervention in the war in Ukraine. According to one of the scenarios, this could happen in case of a possible breakthrough in northwestern Ukraine if this would create a corridor between Ukraine and Belarus and then Minsk would be directly involved in the war. At least 19 civilians died in a series of Ukrainian strikes targeting the Russian city of Belgorod on Sunday, local governor Vyacheslav Gladkov has said. The bodies of 15 victims were taken out from under the rubble of a multi-story building that had collapsed earlier in the day as a result of one of the strikes. According to Russia, Kiev's forces launched another massive shelling targeting the city after the incident, the governor said. This attack claimed the lives of three more people, including a 17-year-old girl, Gladkov confirmed. Five more suffered various injuries in the strike, according to authorities. Gladkov added that, in addition to the, the fatalities, over two dozen people were injured in the strikes. The second strike also damaged 17 apartments in five residential buildings, the governor said. That figure did not include the damage suffered by the partially collapsed apartment block. Earlier, the governor said that, an entire section of an apartment building, from the 10th to the 1st floor, collapsed as a result of a direct hit during a Ukrainian bombardment. At some point, the roof of the damaged building collapsed as well, while the rescuers were clearing the rubble underneath. A source in the governor's office told MASH Telegram channel that no one was hurt in that incident. Another telegram channel, shot, claimed that at least three people sustained injuries in the roof collapse. The Russian Defense Ministry reported that Ukraine had attacked residential areas of Belgorod, using a Tochkayu tactical missile system, as well as rockets from Alka and RM-70 Vampire multiple launch systems. The ministry further asserted that Russian air defenses had intercepted six Soviet-era Tochkayu missiles, four Vampire rockets, and two Alka projectiles.